y'all, it's Timmy with Collard Valley Cooks. Today we're making my special spaghetti sauce and boy is it good. This is not an Italian dish, it's a good old southern spaghetti and I put some good stuff in it. Now I'm making super good spaghetti out of my first cookbook. Um, I threw this together when I first started the show, and y'all, I threw everything in it I could think of to make spaghetti good, and I'm telling you, it's delicious. I had a, a Sunday school teacher that said, I'm not eating no spaghetti, and I took it to a party that we had. Y'all, he loved it. He said, I don't even like spaghetti, but I sure do like your spaghetti. So, the first thing I'm going to do is chop up some bell pepper and onion and then we're going to get it over here on the stove and saute it. I had already browned my ground beef because it needed to be cooked. Do you ever do that? Get your ground beef? And you're like, well, I don't feel like cooking. But you at least brown it and put it up so that it don't go bad. So you chop up an onion. And some bell pepper, of course. You want to make really good spaghetti. Now, I don't have any kids here, so I don't have to worry about chopping it real little. But if you got kids, sometimes you have to use onion powder instead of onions. But now, my kids would eat spaghetti with onions in it. And now that they're in college, they'd probably be happy to eat it. Right? My spaghetti's going to be different than most people, so get ready for something different. Are y'all ready for a different kind of spaghetti? So we're going to turn this on. This is a cast iron skillet. It's got a non-stick coating, and it's cast iron. It's heavy. All right, somebody sent it to me, and but I like it a lot. So we're going to take a little bit of olive oil. in it and it's not good and hot. I should have turned it on while I was talking more ago. But it'll get hot pretty quick. So we're just going to saute these and while we're doing that let me show you these mushrooms. And I'll show you what I do with my beef bouillon. I take a, a container like this and I put in about a cup of hot water. So let me go ahead and get in. And then I put in uh, beef bouillon, and you want to use about three cubes. So what I'm going to use, it's a lot of beef bouillon, is three tablespoons of this granular bouillon. Y'all, I learned how to make Mexican rice today. I watched a video of a lady making authentic Mexican rice, and I'm going to make some. It looks so doggone good. It made me hungry. All right, so put you, and she uses this nor bouillon just like I do. She was using chicken in it, but, but now when you do spaghetti and you're doing beef, you want to use a beef bouillon, okay? So we're going to mix this in there like that. And then we're going to go over to the pantry and get out some tomato sauce because I failed to, all right? I don't know why in my recipe book I say six ounces. It's eight ounce. It's an eight ounce can, so... You know, it ain't going to hurt to use a little extra. It's We're going to put this tomato sauce in here. So you got your tomato sauce, your beef bouillon, and your water in this uh, measuring cup. Okay? So that's ready. While we're sauteing our onion. Now, um, I've already browned my ground beef. So the next thing we're going to do is, I like to use marinated mushrooms in my spaghetti. Oh, they're so good. So you're going to open up your mushrooms. And you know what? This is oil in here, which is actually good for my board. It's not going to hurt it. So I'm going to take out about two-thirds of these. If you have never had a marinated mushroom, oh, my stars, are they delicious. All right, and we're going to chop these up. Let me stir it 
servings. Every time my dogs come through the door, I think it's Chris coming home. All right, one more mushroom. Then we're going to get back over here and look at the food. We're going to throw it all in here. I'm going to show you what all I put in my good spaghetti. Now, I do have some spaghetti sauces that are more authentic, more Italian, off, you know, more fresh stuff. More, tastes more like fresh tomato and garlic. This is not that. This is southern spaghetti sauce. Okay? It's not Italian. It's southern Collard Valley Cooks. Idea of the perfect spaghetti sauce. It's pretty much what it is. Ground beef. That I browned the other day. If you want to know how long I um, will keep meat in the refrigerator, about seven days is how long I keep it in the refrigerator. I don't know about you, but that's about how long I do. And nobody's died yet, so. I gotta be careful, that's a nonstick pan. Using that letter. We're going to put in the mushrooms. Now, you need to put some of this juice in there. Woo, does it make it taste good. Keep enough in there to, to keep the other ones marinated, but pour, you know, pour enough juice off that you've got most of it, but enough to keep the rest of these good in the refrigerator. Now I add tomatoes. Y'all ready for that? I didn't use all that beef because it was a lot. Now I'm going to use a 28 ounce can of petite diced tomatoes. We're going to put those in there. We still got some more ingredients. So hang tight. I love tomatoes. I like a lot. Does that look good? Ooh, it does to me. All right. Now what you're going to do is you got to have some seasonings. It's spaghetti, right? So let's see how much I put in here. A tablespoon and a tablespoon. I put in a tablespoon of Italian seasoning. And I use Italian um, Lighthouse freeze-dried when I made this, but I'm out of it and I haven't bought any more, so I'm just using McCormick Organic Italian Seasoning. It's really good. Um, I also used a salad blend that was Lighthouse. I'm out of it, so I am using Mrs. Dash Salad Blend Original. So I put that in there, too, because it's good. Then you're going to get you some garlic, some fresh garlic, and you put it in your garlic press. Plenty of it. I like a lot of it, y'all. I don't have to worry about the mosquitoes down here in South Georgia if I ate plenty of garlic. <laughs> and we got so many of them. Lord, they're awful here. Yep, the warm weather's nice, but the bugs are not all that great. So you're going to mix it up. I think I still got salt and pepper and sugar to go in it, okay? So we need a tablespoon of sugar. Tablespoon. Sugar. A teaspoon of salt. This is a half teaspoon, and then a half teaspoon of black pepper. McCormick is the best. Do you know if I change my pepper, uh, my family notices. It's so weird. They don't like anything but McCormick, and that's all there is to it. I'm pretty sure we'll go over here and read and make sure. We got our bell pepper. You're always supposed to do that. 
You got a bell pepper, you got an onion, you got your garlic, you got your Italian seasoning, your salad seasoning, um, your canned tomato diced, salt, sugar, pepper, your marinated mushrooms, your mushroom juice, your ground beef, um, your tomato paste. Do y'all know it was supposed to be paste? I was thinking it was runny. It was paste, not sauce. And, and then your bouillon in hot water. I always do something wrong. Lord have mercy. No wonder it said six ounces. So we're going to go get some tomato paste and we're going to throw it in there. It ain't going to hurt nothing. I was thinking, why did you tell them to mix the tomato sauce, the bouillon, and the water together? And it was because it was paste. <laughs> Lord it be. So we'll throw this in there. So my tomato sauce, I mean my spaghetti sauce is going to have a tiny can of tomato sauce in it by accident. But we won't tell nobody. Chris will never know the difference. For sure. This will thicken it up. I was thinking it sure was runny. Wasn't you thinking that? Was I the only one thinking that? Or were you thinking it? We would get off the bus. And this couple lived across the street from us. And when we would get off the bus, their house was right next to the road. And sometimes we would go over there and play, and I'll never forget. I'll never forget it because I seen her make it more than once. And y'all, I was a nosy kid, especially when it came to the kitchen. If I could tell what somebody was doing in the kitchen, I wanted to see it, okay? She would make spaghetti sauce, and she would open tomato paste like this, and she would put it in her spaghetti sauce. And so when she would put that paste in her spaghetti sauce, I thought it was so interesting, you know, and I really paid attention. My mama, I will be real, my mama opened ragu most of the time, but she would open up diced tomatoes and tomato paste, and she would make spaghetti sauce like we're making today. Probably not quite as good as mine because <laughs> I've got marinated mushrooms in it, mushroom, that marinated mushroom juice, which is so delicious, and we've got the beef bouillon in here, and I'm going to tell you, it makes it divine. If you've never had my spaghetti sauce, let me say, when you make it, nobody's going to complain. See, it's got the mushrooms in there. So, if you make spaghetti sauce, grab you some marinated mushrooms, grab you a little beef bouillon, throw it in there, and you will be so glad you did. All right, I made this before Chris got home for supper. So I saved some pasta water, it's good and hot, in the container that my beef was in, um, and I will pour it over the spaghetti before he eats it, okay? And that way it'll loosen it up, and it's the pasta water so it won't be just plain water. And if you use oil, it keeps the sauce from clinging to the pasta, so you don't want to use oil or butter or anything like that in your pasta before you put your spaghetti sauce on the top. So now we're gonna make a delicious plate of good old spaghetti. That's a pretty plate of spaghetti. Yummy, yum. I guarantee if you make the spaghetti, you'll make it again. Thanks so much for watching Colored Valley Cooks, where we cook like Mama did. Love y'all. See you next time on Colored Valley Cooks. Hit that subscribe button. And if you're on Facebook, hit that like button, please. Bye, y'all. Love ya.